This is Kesman 93.3 FM, a new wave of excellence in radio. Uh, our Sergio. Uh-huh. Sergio, you should see the World Cup in 1930. Egypt is the first African country to come From then, that was 1934. It was in 1970 in Morocco. From then, those years now, about World Cup years are. Uh, only 1974, the year African representation with Arabian side, and it's likely yeah, could you be at least yeah, book these qualifiers we are at least we have four Arabians are moving into the final eliminator because Tunisia are likely to cement their position, Algeria and Egypt ne ne Libya already omo omo de omo de pimso ewo honum idia dikant Egypt are dikant take the lead, and it's likely you'll be seeing the other. Uh, Morocco also lead it. So it tells you where, how the Arabians are now taking it as a project. And yeah, Yan is so much call on my send your text to be sending some DB. I'm going to call on my share the more money. Only two African sides are on my Arabs. Pe, me team a call World Cup. I'm a team, a team a making it past the group stages. You can have only the Morocco of 1986 and the Algeria of 2014. Mm-hmm. The and you saw say and not during the qualifications, you no know, Egypt had their own deep power in the room in that game against Libya. First leg, you no know, they won one nil, an absolute stunner. Ah, Omar Marmouche, that new guy, I'm a fan from Entrant Frankfurt, Echo Boy. And so what? So what she has said, you only only Ahmed Fati and a cut that team Hassan Shiata team now. Mo be J three consecutive of contact so on one corner can we didn't set up no. Entirely a very good team, Omo Abeldi. And over consistently coaches from Hussam Badri, from Javier Agüe, from the likes of the, the, this former Valencia coach Munina, Hector Raul Cooper Munina. And you saw say, Carlos Cruz is doing a great job. Two matches, two wins, scoring four goals. And it was a very good result. Say, Washa, Adia Odiababe Uremu, the agency. For some few years, after say Mohamed Nagi Gedo Mwebe Fulon, Adia na Egypt Elaki was potency at the attack. Especially that time, Marwan Moussin mu early did the attack. No, na ube use Mohamed Salah mu bom modi, ube use Nchenche David Hassan Trezeguet mu bom modi. But here na edru any one of the one who is going to be leading the attack na koya sem. But right now they have a certain Mohamed Sharif who has not been considered, and Mohamed Mustafa who has been a thorn in the flesh of teams in or Egypt during their Premier League days. Ah, wo ho ah se so sina kain e wo galatasaray no. Onu no ataki the lead leading the pack right now. Leading the attack, and right now you see, say the coach net me are finding a new tune, new way to build a very good mid for setup. Say, 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 oh yeah, boy, who set tarik kami de bobi? Eh, Amr Solaya and Mohamed El and um and this this Arsenal guy, you know, Mohamed El Neni. And say, what's your Mahmoud Allah? Coach, he buy on set on set and ya call up cra. It's been a certain Mahmoud El Wesh and then Ahmed Egazi. She Akram Tofik, uh, the, the, the youngest player who didn't Ladi Alali set up. Then some few weeks ago, Andy Ebonidi. And Ahmed Fatou, the brilliant left foot back of Zamalik, was on the score sheet yesterday. And they, yesterday, the Egyptians were half line, having three goals. You saw, say, Mohamed El Musrati, Mohamed Zubia, the likes of Sanad El Wafali, and the likes, no, they were trying to inject a pace to, to withstand the, the resistance of the Egyptians, but it couldn't make their way through. Saying, and no, the Egyptians, no, I think, say, they have taken a giant step, and it's likely they'll be topping the group. Another game, of course, Cameroon did very well. I'm not making a double against Mozambique. I think it was a very good setup. And now, Michael and Gajin Gadu, I'm not making a full no, Sergio, and yeah, Obianche, Andre Zambu, and Giza, game our bosses. For Napoli, and now, those two guys from Italy, Martin Hongla of Hellas Verona, and then Frank Andre Zambu and Giza, they were the guys I'm holding for the Cameroonian midfield. No? And Vincent Abubakar, Mazim Eric Chopomotin, Carl Toko and Akambi. I'm also a one, I'm also a one of the deadliest trial over the continent right now. And I'm out for instead of M. Momoni and Koho. Michael Ngaji Ngadu was very, very phenomenal yesterday. He scored the only goal. And in the other game, Nicolas Pepa and then Frank Kessier were on target for the Les Elephants de la Coudiva. So, but Kai qualifies for 2006 World Cup. These two sides were, were in the group. And unfortunately, one of them have to drop. And the Koye Coudiva ne call. 2006 World Cup. And this year, this year, so, these two sides are almost whole group. And it's so, so unfortunate. Say, I had one of these two, two top sides. I'm going to go to the World Cup. 
and and uh, you look you're looking forward to seeing Senegal becoming the first side within the continent. So we'll be making it to the final emulator. No more set up no and said you na your one guy be buna sa or Olympic Marcel or make it sweet to buy Monique. This guy was in the books of the French. The Senegalese have now convinced him to come and play. Omonya Ahmad Diallo, Omonya Farouk from Kulibali, Omosanya Falu Bello Terro, that new guy of um, AC Milan, and Omo Idrissa Ganage, and the likes within the setup. No? Oh, share the setup. Famara Diodu is one of the guys who doubt they are bringing on to lead the attack. With Sadio Mani, Ismail Esa and Krepin Diata, I don't see how the likes of Dion Hutu, the likes of Peter Shalulili, can withstand the might of the Senegalese. Ali will see Senin Imran Tiene. Sergio, we're looking forward to seeing them becoming the first African country to reach the final eliminator. Okay. Our answer, uh, no, no. <laughs> the big game, Ghana, and the 